What's going on, Packers fans? Aaron Negler here with Cheesehead TV. That's right, your Green Bay Packers have made Jair Alexander the highest paid cornerback in the league. Uh, I was asked about it on Packers Daily this morning, and I was like, oh, just, you know, it'll happen, it'll happen. I didn't realize it was going to happen today. Uh, but here we are, Jair Alexander getting the bag, a four-year contract extension, which pays him $31 million in 2022 and $45 million in the first two years. Jair Alexander, well-deserved, coming off an injury-plagued season, yes, but two years ago, he was a second-team All-Pro, clearly one of the best young corners in the league, only 25 years old. This deal locks him in through 2026. Gotta love some of the particulars here. The new deal pays Alexander, on average, a $21 million annually, which surpasses Cleveland's Denzel Ward and the Rams' Jalen Ramsey to become the de facto highest paid. But when you look at some of the details, which have started to come out here a little bit, the $30 million guaranteed would rank 12th in the NFL among corners. That is, if indeed, nothing outside of the signing bonus is guaranteed, which is what the Packers usually do. Uh, Ward and Ramsey are the top cornerbacks in that regard. Um, so average per year depends on how you want to parse it. But regardless, the Packers get their guy locked in for a number of years here. It's going to be extremely exciting to see how Joe Barry goes about utilizing not only Jair with uh, the tandem of Stokes and Rosal Douglas, but how he utilizes him probably inside quite a bit after what we saw in the playoff game. His utilization in the star role, his ability not only to lock guys up who want to have a two-way go off the line of scrimmage, but also the ability to stand in there against the run and be physical and blitz the quarterback, something that I don't think we've seen a lot of from Jair. We've seen hints of it here and there, but I think this could really unlock it as far as his ability to get quarterbacks on the ground and become a terror, kind of the way Charles Woodson used to be. Jair was set to count roughly $13 million against the cap. You have to think this new deal greatly reduces that number. Uh, no details on that yet, but we'll get them to you as they come out at Cheesehead TV. I mean, kudos to Russ Ball. Just continues to get it done. Locking in core player after core player, whether it's David Bakhtiari, Kenny Clark, Jair Alexander, uh, Razul Douglas back in the fold, getting Devondre Campbell in the mix. Uh, this guy just gets it done. If it's important to the Packers, Brian wants him kept, Russ Ball, make sure it happens. You cannot put a premium on that. Uh, let me know what you think about Jair sticking around for the next four years in the comments below. And then tell your friends and tell your family, Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide.